Hello YouTubers, welcome to my next JS crash course. So in this crash course, we are going to be building a multiple image upload with Next.js and we implemented Redux and Redux Action and also Redux States. So we work together with the Next.js documentation to achieve this because they have everything simplified on their documentation. Uh, briefly, we are going to go into that, but let me just show you a preview of what we are going to be building. So this is just a designing page, the landing page. And when I click on these browse files, you can see a list of images I can actually upload. So I can just select uh, one for now and I'll upload. And when I upload that, you can see there is something like a loader icon that just uh, appeared and disappeared. Then when I go over to my Visual Studio Code and come to public, you can see today's date is 14th of June 2020. And you can see the image file I uploaded. So since we are dealing with multiple image upload, I can go over there, I can select uh, multiple images so let me select three images let me select three more images and open that and whenever i open that you can see the preview and this preview is coming from our reader store because uh, we get the values that we injected into our reader store and uh, we preview that back through the image create url object and that's exactly what you can see here then when i click on send again it's going to send that image and delete it from the preview but on the upload folder and also on date folder you can see the images so let's get started and uh, get working right now let's go over to the nejs official documentation web website so i'm just going to type nejs.org so in the official documentation website you can see a little bit description uh, about nejs here you can just come over to the official docs and read more i'm just going to uh, go over to the docs so you can just click on github discussions i'm going to open that on a new tab uh, click on next.js at the top go over to the examples so because we are working with redox we are going to be making use of the redox thunk i think it's redox thunk so you can see how you can set up some redox application but uh you can actually grab this directly so there's a way we can actually do this from our command line uh, or from our console so what i just have to do is to run this code young run create nest app so i'm just going to run that code let me just uh, zoom this in and expand this a little bit so i'm just going to name this next uploader so it's going to ask you some questions because we need to make use of what you see from the examples i'm going to uh, click on example from nextjs repo so it's going to ask you uh, which one you want. So I'm going to just type down Redux Tonk. So you can see Redux Tonk there. I'm just going to select that and it's going to download it for us. So let's just give it a couple of seconds, then we can continue. So right now our app is, is done installing. So let's just go ahead and install some couple dependencies that we are going to be making use of. So I'm just going to go over to the uploader folder and the first dependency we are going to be uh, using is called bootstrap so uh, because of the design you see here because of this button and uh, the way this is kind of arranged i'm going to bring in some global css i defined myself but we are still going to be making use of react bootstrap so come over to react bootstrap documentation and then you can grab this line of code and install that on your uh, project folder. So I'm just going to hit that and install it. But make sure when you're installing it, if you're making use of uh, NPM, stick to NPM. But if you're making use of Yarn, then you need to uh, totally do this the different way, which is Yarn add. So that's done. Right now, let's go ahead and install that, the dependencies that we need. So the first one I'm going to add is web dev next styles. For us to support importing styles of CSS, I'm going to also uh, bring in the formidable serverless because this is what we're going to be using to upload images. I'm going to bring in the moment, like uh, you saw my folder have a date uh, uh, pattern, a date pattern for the current day then contains the images. Then we also have to bring in the node styles, but we have to install that as a dev dependency. Then I have to import, uh, uh, sorry, also install react file reader so i'm just going to bring that to the top file reader impute so i'm going to think we have uh, redox and every other thing there so i'm just going to hit enter uh, it says nesta is not found 
and that's because we did not put the add flag so after you type down yarn you add, you put down the add flag which is going to now install the packages for us for our css we are not going to be making use of css directly we are going to be recompiling uh, to CSS with node sas so i'm going to add uh, node sas and i'm also going to add concurrently because we have to run the server and also node sas together so that's where we can just add that i'm just going to add the capital d flag for for it to the, uh, install on dev dependencies so let's just give that a couple of seconds as well right now every dependency is installed let's just go ahead and open our project folder i'm going to go over to the package of json file to make some configurations that we need in order to run our server since we are using node sas we have to uh, bring down the add css so this one i'm just going to uh, come out here i'm just going to put the node sas which is going to watch for a folder in source sas and it's going to output that in pages static because pages static is exactly where our app dot uh, js file is because you can add some global configurations there then i have to put down the dev which is going to run together the node sas which is the scss and also our server so the way we can do that is to make use of the concurrently and we have to bring in the next and also we have to yarn run at css so i'm going to skip that and close that so i think i made a mistake here i didn't close this properly so i have to get rid of that particularly so you can see our package.json file is set I'm going to create some couple of folders and also some couple of files right now so that we can have access to uh, our CSS file that we can just inject into our app.js file. So I've created the source and also the SAS folder. And I've also created a public folder because we want our image files to be going into this public folder. Then we can have access to our image file from any part of the website we are or from any part of the app we are. So the next thing I have to do now is to create our store. But before I create our store, I have to modify our webpack. So I'm just going to uh, add some configuration to our webpack and not actually modify. So in the next.config.js, I'm going to add some configurations because remember that we ins uh, installed uh, these nest styles over here so that we, we are not going to have a clash whenever we import a CSS file in any part of our files. So I'm just going to bring the video styles which is going to require ads we bring down the package that we just installed then i'm going to export this with styles which is going to accept an object so we have to set that sas to true it's, it can also use the sas the scss then set the modules as well to true then the webpack we want to grab the config then config.module.rules you can push then next thing we want to push is to uh, use this regular sorry regular expression so the first thing i have to do is to make sure that we can as well accept svg files so why i'm actually adding the svg is because the image you saw here let me just show you quickly this image you saw here is an svg file from my design so it's not actually a HTML uh, or div element, no. So the next thing I have to bring down the issuer. And the issuer is going to accept a test case of, we can accept a JS file or a TS file or a TSS as well. Then we can just close that. I think this kind of uh, off point, but it's something that can really help you in case you are finding it difficult to uh, make something like this so it can really help you so i just have to uh, bring in the svgr as well as the webpack and lastly we can be at the url loader to load uh, images file so i'm just going to close that because we are done with this one 
what we actually do at last time was a kind of up point but something that can really help our application run effectively so right now let me just go straight to the point and create a store folder because we have to make sure that our reducers and our actions are on the same folder so i'm just going to select these files and i can move them in our store folder and i think that's it even the actions itself I can move that so that we can have a clean folder i can now say yes so what i have to do here is to create a folder called actions i also have to create a folder called reducers so for that actions i have to rename this to the index.js and uh, move this into that action uh, let me just say yes i also have to rename this to index.js i think it, it looks more neater having everything inside this folder so that we don't have a junk of files just on a folder or in a file i mean the imports so you can see the way this imported it neatly from just reducers and also our types these are the default types from uh, uh next.js so i just have to clear that so in our store uh, we don't really have anything to edit let's just leave it the same way it is and save and lastly let's go to our actions so everything you see in the actions i'm just going to simply get rid of that so we've done a lot of things uh, let's go ahead and uh, run our application but before that we can just create a styles.scss file and here i'm going to be importing some css uh, global viral global class names or global declarations that I, I I just typed down. So I'm just going to grab that and paste. But let's just go ahead and run our application to see how far we've done. So I'm just going to type beyond dev. So if we really have a problem, it's going to crash our application. In case when you try to run the app, it comes out uh, with an error of can't resolve store, just come over to the store and locate the store.js file and rename it to index.js and that's exactly what I did here because we have a store folder so we have to give it an index.js file to be a default read for that folder so right now let's uh, kind of check what's happening to our application so let me kind of, kind of terminate that so sometimes errors do help us to improve whenever we are trying to do something on programming so it says can resolve in this js file on reducers so i'm just going to go over to reducers and it says can resolve uh, can resolve any of these so for the reducer itself i just have to totally get rid of everything you see on these reducers except for the combined reducers and it's just going to return a default object i'm going to create a file called media reducers So media user is just going to accept an initial state. It's going to be an object and it's going to export a default function. It's going to be accepting the state. Here we can bring down the type and the payload. And now uh, we can just, uh, let me just increase the font size because it's kind of look a little. Uh, we'll make it 20, I guess. So I think uh, this kind of look more neater. So it's going to export a default function. So usually accept a switch statement, which is going to be uh, switching with the types and the default is going to return the states. But we have to give the state an initial state, which is exactly uh, the initial state we defined at the top. So I don't think we should have any other clash. In our index.js file, just get rid of everything that you think that we uh, removed in the first place. I just have to clear everything there. So I just have to leave this one this way. It is because we have to we have to show something uh, that the page is showing, something like that. So I just have to on that forgive me for this bunch of errors uh it's kind of trying to uh, reconfigure the way nextjs did their thing so of course you don't expect everything to flow that easily so it says store does not have a valid reducer and that's because 
in the reducer right now let's just go ahead and import media reducer from reducer then here we can just name this media which is going to be the media reducer so let's save that so at the bottom here you can see our code is finally compiled but it says examples is not found i think in index.js examples component not found so let's check that again and it says compile successfully so right now let's go over and uh, run our application to see uh, what we've done so you can see the default uh, landing page and that's exactly what you see here so there is nothing much all we just did was to change a lot of uh, things uh, a lot of default things that nextjs did and you can see we have our nextjs with redos connected without uh, much time so Thank you for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button so in the next part we can go over to the full project completely and make sure we have the outputs and that will be it for the next JS.